Five and zero on the road. Explain that one, Coach. <laughs> veteran guys, you know, veteran guys who've won on the road before, then uh, mixed with our young guys who've been continuing to to, to grow and mature, and and uh, we've just been good. We've had great chemistry. I think Coach Neal has done some great things on the road, loosening things up. Went to a movie, went to a, a Pacer game, and just allowed the guys to be very comfortable, like uh, we're at home. You know, uh, a lot of people think you just go from associate head coach to head coach and keep winning because Coach Neal's made it look pretty easy, but how much work does he put in? Oh, I mean, Coach is a tireless worker. I mean, there's a lot of times where he's first in the office and last to leave, and there's no coincidence why he's having success. He's been around successful people with Steve Alford and other programs and in the NBA, and, and uh, he knows what hard work is, and he's just a tireless worker. Uh, what, do you, what does it take for the next nine games to come out on top? You know what? We got to take one game at a time. You know, we have Wyoming on Wednesday, and it's going to be a very t difficult game. They played us, gave us everything we wanted there at their place in overtime, and so we'll take their best punch. But we just got to continue to keep working in practice and just keep kind of get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. If you had to give a grade, because you're kind of teachers, do you give grades out mm. for the first half? No, I mean eight and one at the turn, I, I think is is pretty good. Um, passing grade. I, yeah, obviously we're, we're a game back of San Diego State, and we'd like to have that, that position in the pole position, but we're going to keep chopping wood and see what happens. Um, people talk about recruiting. That's one of the big reasons you were brought in. Mm -hmm. uh, how's recruiting going? Recruiting is going great. You know, we signed our 2014 class, uh, have some kids that have already given verbal commitments for 2015, and just continuing to, to watch the young guys and evaluate the 15 and 16 class. Uh, I know uh, so many people get hung up on how many stars are behind a guy's name. It's really not that way for New Mexico in evaluating talent, is it? No, I mean, you know, Cameron Barstow was no five-star guy. And you've seen what he's been able to do on the court. You know, we just want to get high-character kids that are good basketball players, good student athletes, and uh, have a tremendous work ethic. In your mind, who's been the biggest surprise for your team this year so far? Wow. Um, I've liked all of our guys, to be honest with you. I could go down the list and tell you where guys have just grown and continue to get better. So that'd be hard for me to just pick one guy. I mean, you got a guy like Pancake uh, shooting 94% from the free throw line in the conference. That's pretty, pretty salty. Absolutely. For a sophomore. Yep, he's coming along. Uh, Deshaun Delaney's coming along. Cullen Neal's giving us some fabulous minutes. Um, you know, just look across our roster. Guys have played well. Kendall Williams has been phenomenal this year. Alex Kirk's been solid. Uh, Hugh Greenwood gives us everything he's got every night. So, I mean, I'm probably named the whole roster there. <laughs> How, how's Thor doing, by the way? How's the eye? He's doing well. He's doing well. Good. Uh, so we expect to see him Wednesday? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, Coach, thanks for spending a few minutes with the Red Menace. Thank you so much.